Can I make it to him? No, I can't. I need to... Uh, crap. What if I shove him? <laughs> Sulik, what's your health look like? Severely wounded. This is where this is where I miss the med darts from Wasteland 3. It, it, they're so ingenious. They're so ingenious added as a as a mechanic. Um XCOM 2 kind of worked around that with the with the med bots as well. Um but med darts are are exactly as they sound. It's a dart that's basically a stim pack in a dart and you just throw it at your friend and they heals them. <laughs> I I wish they were in this game. Because they are so cool. Um, why did I go on my inventory? Because now I just wasted 4 AP. I, I, I won't waste it entirely. I'll heal myself. But Sulik might be dead. Yeah, he's... Oh my goodness, he's rushing towards them too. I think he might be dead. I'm so worried. No. Oh, he walked away. Wait a minute. And somebody knocked Marcus on the ground, too. Crap. Let me, let me see if I can... He looks severely wounded. Crap. Well, these guys started running away, so I... Ugh, crap. Who do I help now? <laughs> do I just start punching? I'm just gonna start punching. I'm just gonna do what I do best. Go for them groins. Hope that my teammates are smart enough to heal themselves. And then go for the commanding officers. Mm, sword blesses! Marcus, please heal yourself. Marcus, please heal yourself. You're critically hit in the eyes. Please heal yourself. Don't kill the mutant! Violence sol never solves anything. Marcus! <sighs> now Marcus is close to death. This is a problem. This is such a problem. Why did my team split? That's uh, that's kind of annoying, too. I'm not into that. Maybe they have different target priorities. But that's not good if I want to keep my team alive. That one's dead. I've been punching groins as I go, too. Just, you know. Ugh. He's dead. Marcus is dead. No! No, Marcus! Ugh, can we please be more organized? I'm gonna reload. The third time's the charm. Third time's the charm. I don't know if I left all that in. It might be a full episode of me trying to kill the raiders. Uh, but I'm gonna talk to my teammates really quick. What you be needing? Combat control. Custom. Um, and let's see. Attack who? Whomever you want. Attack whomever is closest. Okay. As long as I don't tell him to attack whomever is closest to me, or whoever's attacking me, then he'll still work. I believe he'll still work on his own volition to a degree. What do you want? So I need you to attack a specific enemy, Marcus. Looks like he's yawning at me. Um, you attack the strongest. So that's not too much of a problem. That's not too much of a problem, I don't think. Oh, this combat control, I swear. And... Cassidy? Cassidy's fine. He's just taking pot shots at everybody. Okay, third try. Third attempt. Let's do this. I open the door myself without initiating combat so I can get those initial bursts. bursts <laughs> Listen to me try to say words. Initial bursters is on myself. Uh, collapse like a rag and I can't run up to this guy. So I will chuck. Oh! <laughs> Merc Raider was critically hit for 67 hit points, knocking the air out. He slumps to the ground out of the fight and was killed. <laughs> now, I think that was the first, like, complete, like, body detonation 
that we've gotten. Because his, his body is just gone. It's chunks. That was really good. I hope that we win this. <laughs> I'm going to quick use an item on myself. I'm tempted. I'm really tempted to use some, some performance enhancing drugs. Really tempted. I think I might. I'm going to use some Psycho. Here we go. You gain 40 damage resistance, lose 3 intelligence. Bring it on. Bring it on. <laughs> now I'm doing the Matrix thing. Please make sure you're going for the closest, Sulik. Yeah, that's what's up, Marcus. That's right. I was hit for no damage. <laughs> <laughs> I think I haven't been using chems because maybe they're too OP. And Sulik just made a, a cool runnings reference. Okay, this is going better. This is going much better. And we're all in proper turn order. Just shot me in the left arm. Uh oh. Well. Since Sulik is a target of some of them, I'm going to use a super stim pack on him. I only have so many, but I don't want Sulik to die. Like, that's the last thing I want. 36%. Sulik is in front. <laughs> it's just two dudes. Just a pile of two dudes that got knocked out. Uh, Chuck it over there. Haha. <laughs> Okay. Ideally, I want to cripple some people. I want to cripple some fools. What can we do here? Uh, those guys are too far away. I'll just chuck at these guys again. Just so they know I'm here. That's all I want. I want some validation from these raiders. I want, I want them to be like, Hey, I know you. You're Kato Genesis. I used your guides. And then... And then they blow up their friends <laughs> with their assault rifle. Sulik's AI is still kind of jacked up. Because he's uh, maybe horizontally closest, I guess. That could be it. I just need to go down here because this is where this is where the mass is. 50. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, do I have your attention yet? I punch this guy. Nice, Sulik. Nice. Shank him to death. He is dead. There's the sound. There's the juicy slice and half sound. Okay, that was an oops. Oops hit Sulik. I think Sulik is protecting me. It's a oops, Sulik was hit instead of you. The advantage, okay. There is an advantage uh, for us in this cave uh, because this is a low light scenario. Um, and you can see like there was a lot of oops, Sulik was hit instead of you. Um, because they have like, or, or oops, Merc Raider was hit instead of you because there's low light modifiers going on. Um, and I don't have to worry about that as much because I'm a melee user, so is Sulik. Uh, speaking of, I just pushed him. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, he looks wounded. So I'm going to use a stim pack on him again. Just a regular one this time. I'm tempted. You know what? I'm going to give Zulik some jet. <laughs> I can be highly addicted to... I, I have a high chance of being addicted to jet. But Zulik, on the other hand, is an NPC. So I used the jet on Sulik. So now he has an AP, I believe it's an AP boost. That I'm very excited. Let's see. The status of this guy, severely wounded. Regular punches? No, I'll do a groin punch. He's not dead. Darn it. You see a rugged looking man dressed in leather armor. Numerous scars and gunshot wounds cover his body. His armor and weapons, on the other hand, look well maintained, almost new. Hmm. We're uncovering 
kind of kind of painting a picture of what what the what kind of raiders Vault City have been dealing with because we haven't like been to Vault City in a while. But this this was like one of the final things we needed to deal with was the raider issue. And obviously we didn't have <laughs> didn't have the resources to deal with it at the time or deal with them at the time. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. But what I, I know what I'm using. A super stim pack. Getting, getting our health max out again. There we go. Then we punch this guy in the groin. Well done. Well done. Things are going swimmingly. Sulik is severely wounded. Marcus is unhurt. To, I can use I can use another stim pack on him. So I'm gonna use another stim pack on him. Please stay alive, Zulik. <laughs> I need you. I need your wisdom. Or Grampy Bone's wisdom. Maybe you're just a conduit for Grampy Bone. I don't know. Maybe I just need your high fives. That's the kind of... I, I know all of these raiders validated me, but primarily with bullets. I don't need bullet validation. I need just some, some crisp high fives for my friend Sulik. That's all we need. And I hope he's he's slicing through that armor too. Good good investment that Wakizashi blade. W Wakizashi blade. I don't know how to pronounce it really. Marcus with the killing blow. Oh, this guy's out of ammo, and he's just gonna try to kick me. You think my my dude is just getting kicked and punched in the face? Um and not reacting whatsoever. That, uh, that psycho really messed him up. <laughs> In the best possible way. So we'll go up to here. I've had it up to here with you! Wow, it's weird seeing Cassidy reload in combat. It's the sniper rifle. The sniper rifle has... <laughs> A lot of shots, I think, before you have to reload it. Okay, I'm gonna run up to this guy since he's technically closest and punch. So it looks gonna do the same. We did pretty well this time. It's mainly because of, yeah, the darkness, the darkness modifier. I gotta keep that in mind. Um, and just, just making sure to direct, like, the fight uh, along with the party, because this time, this time Sulik and uh, Marcus went the same direction instead of just splitting up entirely, which made it very difficult to support. Because they're clearly not going to heal themselves. They're not smart enough. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why they're not healing themselves. Uh, I'm in a party of dinguses, but I care about them very much. Please don't kill Cassidy. We are at the very end of the fight. Groin shot. Groin shot. Groin shot again. Please kill this man. Cassidy was the only one to use a stim pack. Oh yeah, nice Marcus. Nice. We did it. There it is. Raider caves cleared. Now we have so much to loot. Um, but we're going to loot the leaders first because they have something useful on them. Uh, or do they? <laughs> do they? Or is it in their, in their, um, their, how, what do you call it? The safes. The safes. That's the word I was going for. Or their foot lockers? Are they called foot lockers because they can contain shoes or because they're at the end of the foot of a bed? Because that one over there, this one over here, that's not the foot of a bed. That's a full size locker at the foot of a bed. This one's all, all next to it, like a nightstand. I don't know. Question of the day. Why are they called foot lockers? What about the store of foot locker? Why the store of foot locker sells more than just foot lockers? Is it, is it, is it, 
an implication that that it has uh, the things that belong in a footlocker? And if so, what if it's things that don't fit in a footlocker that they're selling? Like, what if they what if they decided to broaden their horizons and now now the brand doesn't make sense? Am I thinking too hard? On on the on the term footlocker? <laughs> Tell me in the comments below. That's where my brain went today. You're welcome. Okay, Marcus is just gonna hold all this stuff for me. There's something in this bookshelf. A standard pair of gambling dice. It'd be cool to get a fuzzy pair for your car. Deck of cards, a standard set of playing cards. I don't need any of that crap. I don't need it. So instead, I'm gonna start looting these containers here. These are, okay, these are the containers that we were looking for. I didn't use all my frag grenades either. That's surprising. Very surprising. I tend to stagger my my saves. Um and I I made a mistake. <laughs> Imagine Kato making a mistake. I made a mistake. Uh because I usually uh when I start playing, I I rotate between these two saves. So just in case something like goes horribly wrong. Um, I can go back to the very beginning of of whatever session I'm in. Uh, I messed that up this time. I saved over the last session's, like, save for this point. So now I'm just in the Raider Caves and there's nothing I can do about it. Luckily, um, you know, I'm, I'd like to think I, I can be interesting. <laughs> Even if something went horribly wrong. So... Um, I just had to, I just had to deal with it. I just had to deal with it. So that's okay. Alright, so let's get into this final footlocker here. All of them are locked. I would like to lockpick this footlocker. There we go. Successfully disabled. There we go. And while I was opening the footlocker, I sprained my back and lost six current hit points. It was no sprain. It was, uh... I had a hernia. But... <laughs> um, it was the, uh, the super stim pack effect. Um, after a certain point, you start losing uh, a small chunk of your HP because you get that massive burst of health regen, and then so many minutes later, or maybe hours later at this point, um, it'll be... Ah. Ugh. Uh, we can tell my intelligence is not good. <laughs> you see a huge black metal square thing with a nose on the front. Hello, box, Mikado, who are you? The metal box ignores you. Hello, Mikado, who are you? The thing doesn't answer. Twists his nose. Ow! <laughs> Wander off. <laughs> Okay, this safe is trapped, obviously. Um, my character's intelligence is three. I didn't know that an intelligence of three could still screw up your dialogue. <laughs> so we're gonna rest. Oh man, we can't rest. Crap. Well, we'll read all these dog tags. These dog tags have the owner's name scratched off and a name and the name Blondie scrawled on the back. Beneath the name is the number 11. These dog tags list the owner as Angel Eyes. Beneath the name is the number 16. These foul-smelling dog tags list the owner as Tuco Benedito Pacifico Juan Maria Ramirez, followed by the number 27. Okay. And I can I use it on the safe? Nope. I must wander off and uh <laughs> rest. We'll do the loot first then. Special thanks to my Wasteland Legends, Sven and David Hoover, and thanks to the rest of my patrons on screen now. You can catch future episodes of this playthrough on Wednesdays and Fridays, noon and 10 a.m. Pacific. Thanks for watching. I'm Kato Genesis, and may you wander the wasteland like you own it.